If you like van life and beach vibes, then we have an RC for you because the Mad Van Monster Truck is back and better than ever with the all new VE Edition, which includes brushless electronics, enhanced scale body details, and a whole lot more power. But how fast is it? Well, today we find out as we review, speedrun, and bash the all new Mad Van VE from Kyosho. The Mad Van is a one-tenth scale four-wheel drive vehicle based on the Kyosho Phaser MK2 chassis, which Kyosho has been using for a while to create some pretty incredible scale muscle cars and supercars and a few off-road vehicles, including the original Mad Van. All of those previous vehicles, though, used brushed electronics. So to have a new Mad Van offered with brushless electronics is pretty exciting. Kyosho claims these brushless electronics make the Mad Van VE 50% faster than the brushed van and we're gonna test it. But first, the basics. Now the Mad Van VE is a part of the Kyosho Ready Set series. So the van comes out of the box assembled with electronics with the body painted and detailed. The transmitter included is also pretty nice, but it does require four AA batteries. The van too, also requires a battery. A 6L nickel metal hydride battery will work, but to take full advantage of the brushless power, a 2-cell LiPo battery is needed. Aside from those brushless electronics, the Mad Van VE has been updated in a few other ways, with the most obvious being the body. Now this body starts as a one-piece Lexan shell that Kyosho has painted red before detailing it. At the front of the body is a new molded-in grille and headlight section with chrome trim. These pieces are hard plastic scale details that are attached from the inside of the body. These headlights are also LED ready, but they don't include LEDs. Instead, the LED kit will need to be purchased separately from Kyosho. If if you want it. Moving down below the front headlights and grille, we have another hard plastic scale detail. It's the new chrome front bumper. Moving up the truck above the windshield is another new scale detail for the van, and it's the visor. This piece is again a hard plastic molded detail that's secured to the inside. Another new scale piece on the Mad Van VE are the side mirrors in a chrome finish, and they look just like the mirrors included with the Kyosho Mad Crusher, which is a big old gnarly 1.8 scale nitro monster truck. And those mirrors look really good on the Mad Van. They're a hard plastic mirror, and they're likely to break in a hard collision. Next, Kyosho has placed decals over all the windows to provide a tint and more trim detailing. These windows are not blacked out like the previous truck, so it looks a bit more realistic. And the chrome trim matches up with the decals used for our chrome door handles. Now, below those handles are our full length white decal panels, which give the Mad Van VE its fresh and sporty vibe. These panels run the full length on each side of the body, and then they move into the back, continuing where they can, in between our hard plastic realistic taillights. These taillights are LED ready, just like the headlights, but again, you'll need that Kyosho LED light kit to function. Also, just below those taillights, you can see there's another hard plastic rear bumper, and it's in chrome. The last piece of detailing for the Mad Van VE are the plastic roof racks, which look realistic while also helping to protect the body when sliding on it. These parts, along with that windshield visor, are a nice touch to help prolong the life of the body when bashing. Now, to enhance the scale looks even more, the Mad Van VE now features some white looking, deep offset monster truck wheels with a 12 millimeter hex. These white wheels give the truck a fresh feel and they match the monster truck inspired treads, which are glued to the wheel. With that 12 millimeter wheel hex fitment, that means you can put a lot of different aftermarket tires and wheels on the Mad Van. For example, here are rock crawler tires mounted up on the mat van. These are really tall 1.9 inch crawler tires with a diameter of 4.7 inches and they do rub on the body a little in the fender when you turn out and on the front bumper when you're turning in. Now you might be able to trim the body a little for clearance or just use smaller tires. Kind of like these 10 scale touring car tires and wheels. And I know some of you are cringing right now, but I kind of like it. And the Mad Van VE power slides pretty good with them. Since motor gearing is set for the taller original stock tire, the van has a lot of torque with these small tires, but it's not as fast as it could be. Yeah, you liked that, didn't you? You should subscribe for more. So, how fast is it? Well, with the original tires back on the VE and this fully charged 100C 5000 milliamp hour LiPo battery, we found the answer. After a few passes on our bright and sunny day, we achieved the top speed of 36 miles per hour, which is just about 
50% more than the original Mad Van. So the Mad Van V is definitely faster. It feels like it has more power and most importantly, it feels a lot punchier when you squeeze the trigger over the brushed model. Now to help the Mad Van cope with these upgraded brushless electronics, Kyosho has added some upgraded items into the VE, including the aluminum center drive shaft, which is just an option part for the other vehicles. This drive shaft will stay straight and true during really high RPM spins, and it's an excellent upgrade over the previously used plastic drive shaft. Also, the VE includes an updated gearbox with high strength centered metal gears with an updated final drive ratio to better suit faster brushless electronics. The truck also now has a wheelie bar that wasn't there before and it's extremely well braced and stiff with almost no flex. Lastly are the brushless electronics themselves. Kyosho includes the Brain Z 60 amp ESC which is actually compatible with 2S and 3S LiPos and it features a T-style battery connector. The motor power on the other hand is supplied by a Torx 10E 3652 brushless motor with 4000 kV. This motor is only two cell LiPo compatible. And then there's a lot of other standard gear inside the Mad Van VE that you've probably seen before if you're familiar with the Phaser MK2 series. It features oil filled adjustable shocks, front and rear gear differentials, a center slipper, an easy adjust Velcro battery strap, ball bearings, metric hex hardware, and more. Out on the open road, the Mad Van VE drove just like we expected, only faster. Like pretty much all of the MK2 vehicles, the VE is really easy to drive, and it's easy to push a little harder. Some of this is from the van having a little understeer or push, which can be tuned, but that, combined with our wide stance, makes for some really easy, comfortable driving. Our parking lot here in front of A Main Hobbies was sealed up recently, and the surface is slick and smooth with very little traction, and we could not get the VE to pop a wheelie here. We've had issues getting other RCs to wheelie here too, so it's not uncommon. But if you want to be popping wheelies with the VE, we found the more rough and abrasive surfaces work best at delivering that needed traction. We were able to pop wheelies from a dead stop and while in motion. Holding the wheelie is another story and a test of your driving skills. In loose, dusty conditions, the van is pretty tough to keep pointed straight like most RC cars, but probably a little bit easier thanks to our understeer. But if you do punch the throttle fully, you'll probably lose control. So in these loose traction conditions, it's best to be mellow on the throttle to stay in control. Wow, look how dusty this thing has gotten. Since we just happen to be at our Silver Dollar RC racetrack, let's try out some of the jumps, or most importantly, let's try to backflip this wall ride. On the transmitter is a main employee, Jonah, while I film him. Go up and hit that pipe. I bet you backflip off that pipe. I should pop the front end up. track without any water on this track it's pretty loose and slippery but we're only here to try some jumps the mad van catches some big air here thankfully doesn't break next let's try out the oval track Surprisingly, the Madvan VE is awesome on this oval, and the tires hook up surprisingly well. Now going back to the understeer of the van, it really allows us to drive the van easily here at the oval. In the turns, you just have to lift for a moment to settle the front end, make your turn, and get back on the gas. In the end, we finished up our driving with this sweet backflip. Now in all the driving we did with the Mad Van VE, nothing has broken on it. Not even the side mirrors have broke. And we were pretty abusive out there with the truck, but it kind of took it okay. The Mad Van is a pretty dang cool truck. There's a few things about it that there's room for improvement. The shocks are pretty squishy. They could use a little bit th thicker fluid. I think that would help out off-road and jumping and landing performance a little bit. And then the hole in the back for the body where this is all cut out is kind of, I understand why they did it, but at the same time, you, it's hard to see holes in bodies like this, especially if you want to repurpose the body 
or something else down the road. But the coolest thing about the Mad Van is it's a 10th scale, four wheel drive, brushless vehicle, and it's under $300. That's pretty tough to find. Guys, go check out the Mad Van VE with our links down below. And for more RC, check out these videos.